morning. I'm going to have to look up the definition for nihilist. Um, a question popped into my mind where I asked, have I become a nihilist? A nihilist or nihilist, I don't know how some of you would say it. And uh, given that I'm not exactly sure of the definition, but just the sense that I have, hopefully I'm not going to say the wrong thing, but I think nihilist is um, the belief of going back into nothing, into nothingness, like annihilation. Um, you uh, you leave the realm of formation of matter and you just go back into the big pool of energy which we call God and I remember maybe last year I, I that word and thought crossed my mind and I felt a little bit more anxious about it but looking back now uh, since I have progressed a little further away from the um, the mind matrix that makes all of this seem real as I have put more distance between the energy or spirit and the mind matrix, I don't get triggered by the word nihilism or an, uh, a nihilism, a nihilism. Pardon me if I'm not saying it right. Um, but I don't get triggered as I did back then. Because I has, have lost the attachment to whatever identity I was still holding to. It's okay for this identity or my soul identity to dissolve, to disappear. It's okay. I'm okay with it now. Oh, my hands are cold. My gloves are... Yeah, it's... Uh, Hold on a minute here. My gloves on. It doesn't frighten my persona, my ego persona anymore, my mind. It's okay to return into nothing. It's okay to return into the big void that is God, whatever God is. I am not afraid to lose myself, my quote-unquote self, the identity that I'm conscious of. So maybe I have become a nihilist, which is okay. I'm okay with that. Is any of this real? any of this matrix real it's beautiful it's a beautiful dream but depending on the conscious awareness that we have of self or the consciousness behind the self we look at this and we see the illusion of it but it's very real to the physical mind it's very real I mean this rock here on the ground if I fall down and hit that with my knees the 
pain is very real. But it's only real in this dimension. In this physical dimension. And I am not anchored in my identity to this physical dimension. I know that this is not all there is to it. The nothing, the nothing is the real thing. <laughs> it's such an oxymoron, such a paradox. But the nothing is a real thing. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on have I become a nihilist? Maybe, maybe. <laughs>